Hello! Today we're painting a butterfly on a flower. Of course I've got my primary colors, yellow, red, and blue, and a 4x4 four four block canvas. Here I've got a large background brush, a round detail brush, a small flat, a black pen, and a paper towel. Right away we're jumping in on high speed painting our background. I've got blue and white, and then when you have your whole paint area, the whole thing covered, we're adding a little bit of white and then that paper towel we're using to make a fun textured background. Just crumple it up and then press it onto the painting. Your painting is still wet and we're just creating some prints and textures on there. You can wipe off, just dab away any extra paint there. And then as soon as you've got the background the way you like it, then you'll want to blow dry the entire thing so we can get ready for the next step. finding your flat, small flat brush and making a little light brown with that um, brown and white and drawing a half circle. So this is the center of a flower. Our flower is sort of daisy-like or inspired by Black Eyed Susan. So we'll have that light brown circle. Then we'll wash our brush and start our petals, which will be yellow and white. Just adding a little bit of white into some yellow. It's still very much going to be yellow, but it'll be a little more opaque, which will be helpful for the flowers. So take your small flat brush again, and we're putting that up against the edge of the center and then twisting so that the bottom part of the petal is smaller or thinner at tapering. So start flat up against it, then a little twist about halfway down and lift and you can do that all the way around. We will do two layers of these petals. So we'll blow dry now. And then the second layer, maybe a little bit darker yellow. And one way that you could make your yellow darker would be taking a dot of red. And maybe like an orangey yellow, not too much. This uh, second layer is just gonna look like our flower is a little more full. I even have a little white in there. It looks like a highlight on this daisy style flower. Sorry, I fell out of camera shot there for a minute, but I'll be right back. Washing my brush here. And we're switching to a detail round. Making sure that you're dry and grabbing your brown and just offering up some tiny little dots on the top of the center of the flower getting that fuzzy textured look and they can go over onto the petals or up over the top of the flower to give it that textured bumpy surface. Okay, little taps there and when that's done you'll want to blow dry that and then take your detail round clean and add a little bit of light yellow or white and just add a few highlights or kind of add some um, definition to your flowers if you want to touch something up, fix anything like that. You could add um, highlights, a little dark yellow if you needed more dark. When you have finished up the details on your flowers, you'll wash your brush and grab a little bit of your black paint just to do the body of your butterfly. This won't be very long, just one little thick line, maybe even a little bit of a head shape, you know, thicker at the top if you'd like, but this is not very thick. We're keeping this as a small body. And then you'll want to blow dry, wash your brush, and get ready to do the wing. So when you get a chance, you'll want to make purple, and that's blue and red, as you see here. How to draw the butterfly. If we look at our flower, we've got the top center, and then we just did the little body. From there, it's roughly two hearts, a large heart and a small heart. We'll be painting with our small flat paintbrush. So 
as you can see here, we'll go over, we'll be drawing the actual shape of the hearts with the paintbrush, actually painting it. So here I am just showing you how when you take your paintbrush, you'll draw a little top larger heart and then underneath it a smaller heart, that little divot for the butterfly wing to create the heart like. Here I've got the purple and I'm just doing that, those two heart shapes there. I decided I wanted this first heart to be a little larger, so I've, I'm adding a little volume to it on the top there. And then fill in the whole thing with purple. I grabbed a little darker purple, so it's nice to have dark and light. It'll help us see the two wings a little bit better. And a little bit later, I'll grab a little white paint and kind of smoosh that around, and that'll help give us a little diversity. So I did grab a little bit of white. My purple was still wet and I'm just smushing it in there. I like the dark and the light. I like the little textury paint lines in my painterly butterfly. You can kind of touch it up now if you think one wing needs to be a little bit bigger or you want your divots and the heart part to be a little bit more defined, you could go ahead and do that. And then we'll blow dry our butterfly. Grab the black pen that I talked about. So this should be permanent. And I just did the little antennas with him there and little feet. So he's sitting on the flower. And then after that, we have an optional element. You can leave it just the way it is. It's adorable. Here is another version I did, obviously with different colors, but then I outlined the butterfly and added some fun little squiggles with the pen. Got that in a blue and orange one as well. So you can definitely do this project again and change up the colors in any way you want, make a little series. So you can leave it like this and totally skip the pen element or you could go in and just outline. It makes it a little more whimsical. It's just a different style and I want you to play and see what different kinds of options you've got. 